the 2011 Foot Locker National Cross Country Championship underway and our leaders will take it out very quickly just like the girls over the hill a very fast start right into the downhill carry undefeated all these boys going in I mean it'll be a little bit odd most of them are our, our Northeast champion Cheswick he hasn't had anybody within 20 seconds of him so it's a little different for these boys all of a sudden there's people around them all the time it is but you know they know coming to Foot Locker they're gonna have people around them it, you have to make that adjustment but mentally coming into this race they know that there's gonna be bodies around them last year we saw Lucas Verbicus actually take it out really hard kind of like Aaron did in the girls race so we'll have to see how this plays out here in the next four eight hundred meters and see if somebody wants to take the charge well, either they're being respectful of our regional champions or they're taking control, but there they are, our three undefeated boys right there in the front. And we can see Ahmed Bili also, the big tall boy right there in the middle also, the very fast 150 half milers. So for him, a fast pace is certainly going to be easy to handle, but all three of our undefeated champions out very quickly here. They're taking control of this race. I guess everybody's going to watch them through that first part, aren't they? You know, it's amazing to see these athletes before the race and they're all learning how to or they're they're all becoming great friends. And now all of a sudden you have to try to beat each other. And, you know, it's it's crazy how quick you can turn that switch, Tim. And and right now they're on the, what's on their mind right now is to get into the finish line first. Out very quickly, our group a little different than our boys race. That looks like CJ Albertson maybe taking that out a little bit there very quickly, trying to push that pace a little bit. Cheswick right there, puts them looking right on Cheswick's shoulder. Fahey a little bit off to the back of them right there in that group. C.J. Albertson of uh, Buchanan High up in Fresno, Central California, ran very well early in the year. Wood the Wood, won the Woodbridge Invitational, which is a big early season invitational on the West, and has run very fast, very good miler, taking us out through that first half mile. But all the others measuring each other. A much different strategy than we saw in the girls' race. Definitely. I mean, there's there's more, maybe a little bit more uh, pressure or, I guess, attention on those two favorites with Edward and Footsum. So maybe people are thinking more about them. The women's race is a little bit more wide open. So, you know, that could be what everyone else is thinking about. They're looking to those two guys to do something. I think so. Everybody looking at each other as they go through, checking out, just sort of like boxers jabbing here at the beginning of a fight, just seeing what everybody's got for them. But they came through the half mile, 221, 221, so a respectable half mile. C.J. Albertson of Buchanan High School. He's our early leader. And then we've got the whole, the whole pack there. Albertson making the turn around the pool, opening up a little bit of a lead. But if he took glances around, there's 39 boys right there behind him, all spread out. Puts them in the red, Cheserick in the blue, Fahey yeah, in the gold. And nobody letting anybody go. Albertson trying to open a little bit of a lead, a little bit on this downhill. He looks like he's making a little bit of a yeah. move carry. He's going to try to pull a little distance on him. Well, you know, it never hurts to go for it. I mean, if, if you know that you have it in you and you want to just see what you're made of, I mean, we saw it in the women's race. Those girls, they pulled out and they held on, so... This is obviously a move. He is not just picking up the pace. He is really trying to make a move here. And maybe everybody looking at each other, they better keep an out. C.J. Albertson, outstanding runner. He has run very quickly all year. He certainly can hang. This is certainly not a move that is unprecedented for him. He certainly is quality runner and can hang in there. But all the right, they better not let him get too far. C.J. Albertson of Buchanan opens up about a 30-meter lead. That's the key, Tim. When you have so much attention on a couple runners, you cannot forget about the rest of the 38 because each and every one of these athletes could win this race today. Yeah, he's got to be excited out Ooh. there, doesn't he, huh? Looking out front in the national championship. It feels good. You know, once that gun goes off, it's amazing the feeling that you have. Yeah, you're still nervous, but it's about game time. And, you know, that's so nice once that gun actually does go off. You really have to admire these efforts, just like Aaron Finn. Championship final, everybody else, and C.J. Albertson, he's going to go out and give it a shot here. We see all of our other leaders right up in there. Cheswick's right there in that group. Bile, Thomas Graham from Cary Academy in there. Putsam Zena Selassie from North Central Indiana. They're all in that chase group, and there really is nobody not in that chase group, but C.J. powering across the road. Looks like the second half of this first mile is very quick. So he is going to be right around 448 for that first mile, 448. So he picked it up a little bit there. It's mostly uphill as they head up the big hill for the first time. 
Boy, this is a big move for him. Big this move This is a for big him. move. He's a, you can tell he's a strong runner, so he's going to like that hill, and he wants to probably, maybe he wants to get a little distance on these guys. Well, they are making some move up that hill. They've They're cut coming. that distance a little come. bit. And here goes Cheserick. Looks like Edward Cheserick making a move. Put some Zena Selassie, though, covering it. Yep. Just like we mentioned, a couple boxers. Here we go. We're starting to get down here and lay some punches. Cheserick is laying the first blow here. Now they have moved by Albertson into th third. Albertson for third down. Looks like Graham trying to match that move from the south. But Footsom and Edward, one, two. Cheserick there in the blue. Zena Selassie in the red. Both of them undefeated all year. We can see our other undefeated runner there, Fahey, in about fifth in that group. You can tell they've relaxed now a little bit. They made a strong move going up that hill, but then they kind of settled back in here. And as it's natural to just let it rip down the hill here, but we, you have to still stay within yourself. The footing is not as smooth as, as it looks. You have to watch your footing as well. So it's, it's definitely a, t a difficult part of the course. That looks like Graham trying to move up there and right with them there. Pretty easy on that downhill. The whole pack coming back to him. And Fahey using that downhill to get up on him. Woo. Yeah, everybody's back in it now. It looks like Nathan White's also. He followed Fahey all the way to the finish line relatively easily last week in the region. We're now back together. We've got a pack of five and really all the boys in there. So we've had our first big move by CJ, then our second move by Edward. And now we're back together again. And we can see Fahey moving up there into fourth now. Darren Fahey, this is actually the course where he runs his sectional championships in San Diego. And he won the Mount Carmel Invitational on this course earlier in the year. And you can see Cheserick Looking for Footsum, no one yet, but now it's Footsum's time. Footsum's Dennis Lossie, he takes the lead for the first time, and he's looking around. Here we go, move three. Yeah, this will be interesting, Tim. These two are obviously feeding off of each other, and you know, they can't forget about the guys behind them, but there's definitely some games being played right now. We are running very fast, just under 7.20 at the halfway point. This is a very, very quick pace, Cheserick, and Zeta Salasi, Graham, Fahey, Vertiz. That's our top five. Smorgowitz trying to move up in there. The course record, an unbelievable 1436. So you'd have to be about 718 at the halfway point, and we were 719. Woo! So we are running very quick, very fast. Zena Salasi and Cheserick now trying to really bust that move out there. But nobody letting him get too far away. We've still got a good group of 10 to 15 boys, all still very close. And remember, top 15 All-Americans. And Tim, that record has been since 1985. Uh, Ruben Reyna. Ruben Reyna, one of the great I think runners he'd in American like to history. See it go down. So we'll have to see if these two guys can keep that pace going. Yeah, you know, we talked to Adam Goucher last night about that. He ran 14.41 on this course when he won his national championship, the fourth fastest ever. He said that big hill the second time, and that's certainly where we're either going to see a course record or a victory. But Zena Selassie and Cheserit, that's what everybody said was going to be the race. These two undefeated all year, and they are neck and neck with a little bit over a mile and a quarter to go. Cheserit, just a junior, Zena Selassie a senior. And they are starting to pull away. Graham running a great race there, running well in third. And then the big pack still running together in four through 10. A Little bit of an uphill, they'll make that turn. A Little bit of a, a, a slight less uphill heading to the two mile mark. They're looking around. Anybody going with us? Just you and me. <laughs> Boy, a lot of pressure on these boys. So of everybody pressure. looking yeah. for these boys here to do well. I think that's a good thing at times, but you know, I mean, it's all individual. I liked having some pressure when I was here, but at the same time, you know, some people just, they get too nervous and they don't, they don't like it. But you know what? These guys are obviously doing something right the way they've been running all year. Kerry, is it a little frustrating though? For each of them has made a big move and usually that pulls them away. Yeah. Cheserick, who we mentioned earlier, hasn't had anybody within 25 seconds of him. Now he's right there, he's made his big move, and he's right there with him. 
I think these two knew all along it was going to be down to the wire between the two of them. I mean, they, they can't, they would be foolish to think they could blow somebody away, I believe. 9.50 at two miles, 9.50 at two miles. So we are on a great pace here, certainly a sub 15 minute pace if they continue at this. Coming around the come. pool, here we go, mano y mano, Cesaret and Zena Salasi. And they are flying here. Graham still running very well. Four minutes to go, roughly. Four minutes, you guys. This is the, the greatest four minutes of their lives, probably, right here. Cheser trying to make a little bit of move. Graham very strong still in third. Fahey leading that group in fourth. Belay right there with him also. White's trying to move up and join that group. It'll be a great battle for those All-American spots in three through 15. And it has been a very tough pace on all these boys. <laughs> Edward Cheswick and Futsum Zena Selassi less than a mile ago to a national championship. And they continue to battle, no one following. Still shoulder to shoulder. Zena Selassi in the red, Cheswick in the blue, and they are flying. Can they pick it up even more? Oh, I think so. Oh. These, these guys are saving that final final weapon. Cheswick, a great kick to win the, the region. There he goes. Now Cheswick <laughs> back in the lead. You can't pick who is the better in control here. Cheswick takes the lead, then Zenith Lassi, Zenith Lassi, then Cheswick, and now Cheswick back with Zenith Lassi right on his shoulder. Edward Cheswick from St. Benedict's Prep in the blue. Fitzsim Zena Salasi from North Central in Indiana in the red. Running one, two here as they get ready for the big hill and we'll see. And now you can see Zena Salasi back taking the lead. Nobody wants to just sit and wait. You know, Tim, this is, physically this is hard, but mentally it's even harder to be able to come on, keep coming back from these surges and to keep on taking, you know, the role of the leader. So. You know, these guys are doing something crazy, both physically and mentally. Here we go. He puts him, tries to make the lead, and Cheseret responds. They are sprinting up that hill. That is a very steep hill. Neither one wants to let each other go. I think that's the fastest I have ever seen the leader of this run go up that hill. Oh, my. Cheseret now still in the, he takes the lead. Zenislavski at the bottom of the hill made a big move. Cheseret responded, didn't just respond to come up on his shoulder, passed him, but Zenith Selassie responds, and there they are, the top of the hill. Uh. We are just over a little bit more than a half mile to a national championship race. We're at 13 minutes right now, just at 13 minutes. Edward Cheseret, Futsum, Zenith Selassie running one, two. And on to the downhill. You know, they are running very fast. The rest of our field running very well also. Thomas Graham still running well. Smorgowitz has moved up into that group. He's in there. Weitz is in that group. Jake Leingang from Bismarck up in there. Sean McCordy, Daniel Vertiz, Ahmed Beely, all in that great race going on for those three through 10 spots. On the downhill, it is still Cheseret. 600 meters to go. Cheseret. And Zena Selassie, one, two, two, one. You call it whatever you want, there they are. 500 meters to go. Edward Cheseret, Vitsum, Zena Selassie. Could quite possibly be the closest race ever, Tim. Oh my goodness, we are at 14 <laughs> minutes right now. Cheseret, Zena Selassie. They are going to come around that turn about another 70 meters to go. They'll make the turn head by the start line. It is still any man's race. Wow. No quarter be given. Futsum Zena Selassie now moving back up. Cheseret there just a half a step ahead. Woo. Making the turn 150 meters to go. Cheseret, Zena Selassie side by side. Up the hill. Cheseret, two meters. Five meters now, Cheseret, a slant over his shoulder. Zena Selassie hanging in there. Coming down to the finish here, he's still coming. Zena Selassie trying to close. It will be Edward Cheseret will
will be the national champion. Stanislaus in second. Both of them running in the low 1450s. Jake Leingang leading that charge up. Nathan White in fourth. Graham in fifth. Vertiz and Andrew Gardner in sixth. Coming into the finish, it looks like Graham running very well. Also hanging in there. A great finish there. Looks like White's maybe moving up to fourth. We see Gardner in the top five. Oh my, if you're here folks, let's hear it for these boys. What a great race. So difficult of a pace right from the start. All of these boys, state champions. What an effort. <laughs> I'm in awe. <laughs> that wow. was an amazing race. Our, uh, our official results here as our boys come across that line. Let's cheer each one and bring them in. Edward Cesarek, he's officially our winner. 1451, one of the fastest times ever run on this course. Butsum Zenis Lassi. 14.52 as advertised. And Nathan Whites, he did move up very well in that last mile. He gets third at 15.20. Jake Leingang also moving up well from the Midwest, 15.21. Daniel Fertiz from the South, 15.22. Andrew Gardner, another top 10 finish here for the junior from Meade at 15.23. Tony Smorgowitz, another top 10 finish. 